Hello, Sunny Bonani. Welcome back. Another quarantine diaries with Tenji Yue. Gitelani Zivese Ugutini Kona Uruze Sanzu Uguti. What language are we speaking? Please write your comments. Let me know what language we are doing this video in. Because if we do not have any non Zulu understanding audiences, then Sizo Kuluma is Zulu. You know, Uguti, as we are staying at home, what is entertaining us? We are watching more films than we have in the past. We are watching, watching more television. We are on our social media watching entertainment. And so often we forget to thank the people who make sure that we do get those movies, that we do get uh, those TV shows. And not only do they entertain us, but they also are a vessel to tell our story, especially as Africans. My favorite saying is, when a lion learns to write, the tail of the hand will stop favoring the hunter. So as Africans, we need to tell our stories. We need to tell our own stories our own way. We cannot keep giving away our history to people from outside. And today we are so lucky. We have a couple, my favorite couple. It's a power couple from our own shows of Umzanzi who have made waves across the globe with their productions. Uh, I will not, let me stop talking because I know I talk too much. Let me introduce you to the power couple that is the Nodadas, Zuko and Tandega Nodada. Welcome to the show. Thank you for yeah, having yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are you guys quarantining? Yeah? Where are you quarantined? Where are you? At where, home. Where? What else can we do at home? <laughs> yeah, people, people are quarantining in, in places they didn't intend to. People are stuck in places, guys. People was are stuck no, in places. Also, I didn't have a choice. He had to quarantine with the wife, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> the wife doesn't, doesn't take it in that way. I'm a joke. Okay, let us see. Zulu, because I need to know, because so I have different audiences. So sometimes I have English people, so I have to mind how much Zulu I speak. Sometimes I just have a Zulu audience. And you know, some Zulu people, so oh, I need to know that I can all be happy and all be comfortable. Looks like. Uh, <laughs> so, guys, get. Agusho Mina, do not blame me. Kusho ama vote ama comments. So Ungas Kolomes in case. But but I just Ungas Kolomes in case. I I just wanted to Ungas Kolomes in case. I just wanted to Kolomes in case. So Ungas Kolomes in case. So si kuluma ete zulu ama comments ati ati. So but obviously so spagi in case. So Ungas nga spagi. So <laughs> someone who's at home who's watching you, Onga Naz. Elanis mm. introduce. Good Data, actress, producer, casting director. That's what I am. And I'm married to, to this guy who is Kaza Pella Oh. Okay. <laughs> Who's one of that film director, television director? Yes, I'm going to shut up. The Nusu Kaza or young kid, wait. Okay, as I go to as far as I get colored, I got to the new ones. I own kid, Dom Daga Mike Yens. So, guys, see, we lock down Jenga Manch industry. Yama movie, I'm a film. It was I'm second. Gungabi Pazam Segeganga Ganani, Gungabe is Sipi Sombululo is Nabana. So, what solutions can we have? Ah, uh, yo. Hello. I, I don't want to talk about solutions first because at least now we, 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 we are shooting, eh? Uh, we were back to, we're close to the, to the normal that we know. So, I can say maybe what we can talk about now in the situation we are in is the preventative measures, the safety measures that one can take on set. But in terms of being interrupted on our side, I think it did more damage than um, anyone can imagine. Uh, for instance, Uncovered was supposed to go to Holland. 
Carl mm. go. That was cancelled. Uh, number two, uh, we we're supposed, we we're hoping to shoot another rom-com in November. Mm. But because of this pandemic, we can't. I mean, the applications are not processed. Even those that we had put in, um, we'll have to start from scratch again when this thing really comes to an end, to an end when it dies down. So yeah, it killed us a lot. It kills a lot of plans to jump to new projects because that's what we're planning to do, to just go straight into new projects. I, I think also the biggest thing is not knowing when this is gonna end. So we don't know if this is becoming our normal lives, you know, should we start? Because it's impacting a lot on script. There's going to be actors who don't want to do intimate scenes, you know. So now it means let's change our script. But now we are making weak scripts because now we are trying to accommodate this pandemic. So there's a lot that is going on because right now we don't know, like I said, which, when is this going to end? Uh, how are we moving forward from this? And I think most of it is because, like you said, not knowing when it's going to end, how it's going to end, because you mm. don't want to be offensive to uh, the disease itself, to the virus, and mm. uh, what it's doing to the world. Yeah. At the same time, you want to write a script, because when you write a script, it takes years before it, it makes it to the screen. To the screen, It will take at least a year. Yeah. By the time you shoot my ex mask, <laughs> so I think it, it it is very hard. Hey yeah. guys, Zim. So taking away what we are going through, how is it being a black producer and director in South Africa? How is it being a producer and a director? I, I don't want to be the one who also answers who always answers first. In South Africa, it is very hard. It is it is the most difficult thing one can do necessary but very difficult um nothing really works in the favor of black creatives in general so it becomes even more difficult if now you are a director or a producer for a number of reasons man um, i think first of all what changed and killed everything was the budget so when the budgets were good Black producers were not getting the money. Mm. That is a fact. That is a fact. And the cost of living is high, everything is going up, but the budgets in the industry are not changing at all. And as they get bad or get worse, more black producers now get money to produce these films, which means that you are in a position or in a situation where you will be labeled as someone who exploits people. Mm. Yeah. So that is very painful. Mm. You're exploiting people. That's what people see. That's what you are in the firing line. So at face value, you are the one who's exploiting people. And no one is prepared to really address the challenge of budgets that are not good, especially for black producers. I always make an example about the Mzanzi movies and the cake. Can I just stop for a minute? There's someone, I think, playing either TV or radio in the background. Not yet, not yet. Not there. Okay, let's check. Okay. Mr. Nalo? Oh, while you got checks, I think also he mentioned important stuff in terms of budget. You know, I'm a, but we are dealing with budgets that we were dealing with 15 years ago. You know, so it's painful to be offering people the same race that you were offering in 2001. And also, a lot of shows were given to white producers. You know what I mean? So now, Tina, we are labeled as people that don't pay. We are labeled as, labeled as people who don't know what they're doing. And before you even say yes or jumping into a company that is black owned, you already, at, you know, you're nervous. You're going, are they going to pay me? Are they not? Are they going to pay me? And it, it's a painful thing to deal with, you know? So I want them to start seeing us as the, the not to mention names, but the, the ochres and the quizzicals of South Africa. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, just to, so yeah, it's it's a um, it's, it's it's very difficult to to produce in South Africa. So no one has context. I agree. Sometimes very producers don't pay people, but no one has context when they attack black producers. I even said maybe what needs to happen is that 
we just need to stop producing uh, content, you know, all together until these things are addressed. There's a guy, I'm not gonna name here in this platform. He got um, less than five million to shoot uh, a series on location, a period piece. If you think about it, this guy's fate was decided when he signed the contract. Not even when he got the money, like when just when he just signed the contract, you know, his fate on was location. Started. Yeah? On location yeah. out of town. Out of town. So yeah. already you are bound to fail with that mm. amount, you know. Yeah, so I mean, and that's why I'm saying people don't have context. If we can just all be open and talk about the rates that this channels are prepared to give mm. to black producers. For instance, I will shot in Zanzi Magic Movies with you. Um, oh, yeah. I will, I, will, I will say this. I don't think you, you got more than 400,000. No. And when we say 400,000, we don't mean as a profit. We mean to shoot the movie from doing yeah. a screen, bribing yeah. the person, because there are bribes that happen, and we need to address this issue. Because not only yeah. do we get two things, People still ex expect, they might not directly call it a bribe, but the minute they give you the contract, and as uh, their father has died and they need help, they, you know, they start putting, putting you in a corner where you feel like you have to financially assist them. And these things have to stop. Because especially as black producers, we're not getting the same amount as people who are producing for channels that speak mm -hmm. other languages. But yeah. we have more audiences, we have more viewers. So it's a problem. So, I mean, so you didn't get more than 400,000 to shoot. I worked with you and for you. She did that because we understand that. But mm -hmm. someone who doesn't understand, in their eyes, tells you where is exploiting them. They don't understand that you're trying to make this work with 400,000. Uh, where you need to get equipment, you need to pay for script, you need to pay for locations, you need catering. to pay for actors, there's catering, there's wardrobe, there's, you need, there's, there's a whole lot of things. And you only have 400k to pay for those things. And our white counterparts, they would shoot the same, same length movies for 2 million. Mm. So when someone gets paid better by a person who got 2 million, they think we're going to change who's the man. They don't know that to change your code, 400,000. The difference is not even 50%. If the really? difference is 1,6 million, it's like you are set up to fail from the beginning as a black person. Yeah, that is so true. That, that is so that is so sad. So, because uh, a lot of the actors, especially now during what is happening, are complaining that they are hungry and people are shocked because they're like, I see you on TV, but then you, I was watching Mr. Kambules this morning. I was watching Judge yesterday. How come you are broke? How can you be broke? Uh, and then it's easy for someone who's an audience member to just think, you see the producers are showing the money by themselves. What happens in South Africa when the channel has commissioned you? By Fagek TV, Indoyako. If it keeps playing, do you keep getting paid? No, not yeah. at all. They can repeat it as many times as they want. Um, you don't get paid. So, like for instance, in your case, the 400,000 you got was the only money that you got and you will never get any other money. Even if they can pay. Yeah. You will never get a cent. You know what I mean? But that's what yeah. the actors are fighting for and asking the president to sign the bill. It's because of these things, you know what I mean? Would, I can shoot this drama now, and then the next thing is playing for three years, and I'm not getting a cent from it, you know? So also, it's, it's people don't understand the industry. You know, just because you see me on TV, TV every day, you don't know. Maybe to shoot that episode, I shot it, what, two months ago, and it's playing today, you know? So it's all of those things. Yeah, so it becomes difficult, because also I want to ask you this question. Because we say a lot of our actors, I'm not, I know Tandega, you also act, but I'm not asking you as an actor, I'm asking you as a producer, and Zugo as a director and a producer. Uh, and you're also a casting director, so you know a lot about the acting industry. Uh, 
I'm an actor. I'm complaining, Guguti. I can't even afford my rent and blah, blah, blah. And I'm the celebrity. I'm the person who draws the numbers, but I'm broke. And then somebody looks at Zubo and not that and says, I love about the Malia band. How come they have a house? How come they have a comfortable life? Can you make people understand uh, from the producer and director point of view that not only do you make money from the jobs that you do, you do other things because people tend to complain as you see when you've produced or directed something mm -hmm. so yeah that's why you're living a better life and also what advice can you give people in the industry about how to better prepare for the future how to save their money so look it's a consider when you say about they would see you driving a car and think what would be money you know tell us the day is that's the truth because you realize the wooden industry is messed up. Mm -hmm. So the side take a lunch days. Snedays, see a days. Jenna Maja and Jenna is the Mupa dad. Yeah, isn't that we never thought we would do? The Mupa dad. Like in Jang Usha, now we tend you. I'm not just an actress. I realized what in there waiting for auditions was going to kill me because there's that time where you're not working for three months or four months. So I can't do one thing. You know, I know a lot of people will say, I mean, I'm just an actress and that's it. And then I understand it's good. It's okay. Good for them if you're going to wait for jobs and, and what, what. But Mina, I, I hate waiting and, and not knowing where my next salary is going to come from. So that is why I, instead of me leaving the industry altogether, I go and, and I cast for other companies. You know what I mean? If not that, then I produce. And then you get... Yeah? Yeah. I'm a production manager. So it's constantly... No, Zugo. Zugo... Zugo would love to just only direct his work, but he knows he can't because we need to survive. So he, he's going to direct other people's work, you know. So it's constantly doing something else, doing something new, knocking on doors. And John Obeshu Zugo would say, as artists, sometimes I see Sengi Sholo Minakul and my friends who are artists, we're not good with money because if you are managing, then the next thing you're not working. So it's... um. In, the, in, in this relationship, he's good with money. I'm bad. You know what I mean? So Uzugo can save. Uzugo can, he looks at business opportunities outside the industry. And that's what keeps us afloat. And uh, can I just add to that? Uh, number one, how you say you do these other jobs behind the scenes. Most of our peers just want to be on screen. Mm. They do not want to learn other skills where I can be in this movie, I can be the, in this production, even if I'm not on screen, I can do mm. other things behind the scenes. I think that's very important to make sure, especially a lot of us who went to drama school. We are not that's just not important. Yes. You know, the one thing, having gone to a drama school, the one thing I wish they added in our syllabus is just to know more stuff that happens behind the scenes. I look at the people when the people I went to school with, they're no longer in this industry, but if they knew what all oh, this producing, because there were people I went to school with that were very good with theory, that were very good with wardrobe, that were very good with makeup, but because they were just trained to be actors and they were not strong in that, now they're not in this industry so mm -hmm. our drama schools need to just concentrate on the, the the behind the scenes work producing continuity because there's more work behind the scenes as well that we are not aware of you know but i understand that people just want to act but people should just be aware what there is other stuff behind the scenes i totally agree i remember uh, i was talking to my sister actually about this a couple of weeks ago my sister also went to drama school the same one that we all went to well guys we are we all went to the same drama school uh dut uh zugo and i went when it was still technical natal or natal tech yes. yeah yes mina i went to the university of technology yes so uh we were saying how we didn't pay attention in makeup classes because we didn't know it was a job you could survive with. We didn't know it was a job you could do in on set. We just thought it was just something they were teaching us to pass time or to understand when people are putting on makeup. So I agree with you on that point. And yeah. when we go back to the money, 
I find that as especially South African actors, because the issue is a lot with actors, because they are complaining that they do not have money, mm. which is very fair. But we must stop having Hollywood attitudes when we have South African bank balances. I've seen people that I have cast, and I know exactly how much they are getting paid for this project. And when it's, uh, what do you call these red carpets? The premiere. Yeah. They are dressed in outfits that are worth more than what they were paid for the acting gig. Because they are more worried about social media, about looking good. I've seen people take their Ipasi to Mashonisa just so that they can have a nice outfit for an awards show or for an event. What can you say to the talent about that, to the actors, in, to, to the celebrity, the celebrity lifestyle in South Africa? How can we, what can we do to stop that? Because that's one major thing why people do not have money. No, it's a no comment. It's a no comment. Hey, we live in a class house. Hey, we live in a class house. If you're not going to live within your means, then it's up to you. You understand. So if I know Ngiholale Mali and I choose to be extravagant and I choose to live for social media, that's that's on you. You understand. When we cover time, you know, so I don't live for social media. I don't want that locusani that life. I don't want that light. I'm not a celebrity. The thing is, I've never when I went to drama school, I didn't went to I didn't go to drama school to become a celebrity. I went to drama school to become an actress. You know, mm -hmm. so that's the difference between me and Omunyu Muntugo. Oh, and Zela to be an eat girl. Oh, and Zela to be a celebrity. Oh, and Zela to you know what I mean. Uti, when I wear a shirt, your hand dress, I'm, I've made it. No. You know, so Mina, I need to survive. I'm also a mother, you know, so I just need to wake up every day, do what I love, do what I studied, get paid, live my life. You know, that is why Abanyaman won't even know me because that's how I choose to live. I've got friends that uh, have been my friends ever since I was 12 years old. You know, my best friend is the friend in Afunda Nai Primary. I don't have friends in this industry because it's like I, I, I have friends and that's it so that I don't put pressure on myself and start changing who I am, you know? Yeah, it, it, it is a difficult industry. Let's look at some of the comments. Yo, you guys are really addressing real issues here. As an emerging actor, I truly relate to all this. And I wish this conversation can carry on post lockdown and have a proper engagement with all affected parties. Thank you, Mbuise and Inami. I do hope that as South Africans, we can continue to have such conversations. Ubu Tabashe, Uti, no comment, Goko Tula, too. I mean, I think it's easy. For me, because as a stand-up comedian, verily, I'm the voice of the nation. I say it's how I say Good afternoon. You are doing well. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, MMR TV. Uh, Pilani, Pilamakitiki, our previous conversation. See? So other people are already having these conversations as well. Light and Sound Media Productions. Uti, you can't have Mzansi getting 400,000 and getting mm. getting they do not just for the same production i like the ulokuzane with the cake net and all of that stuff you know it's amazing how even a cinema it's africans movies that are doing well mm. you understand so one day i hope we get to a conversation where we talk about artists ulokuzane um supporting each other we don't when it comes to uh, movies or cinema we'd never do well but then abandoned by minority like the africans people they're winning why they're supporting each other as much as you know what i mean the indians are doing well when it comes to the cinemas or keeping up with the kandasamis you find corporate companies i remember when we released the uncovered i used to just go to the cinema because the abangas and i just look at and hear the conversations from people buying tickets. As soon as they see, I, Labadaba Miami, I, Benzalo, Msanga, Noam, 
So there's no trust in our own work. There's no support. So we will never get a in the industry if we're constantly thinking the same way we've been thinking all this time. Can I just add on to that? You are so right because it is mental slavery. Mm. We need to free ourselves because I remember I, used, I was so upset when a Black Panther came. Yeah, because not only do we have real kingdoms in, in in Africa, especially in Southern Africa, we have real kingdoms. So there was nothing exciting about it for me. Number one, it was cultural appropriation as far as I'm concerned and just misplaced. But OK, yeah, it's fine. It's a movie. When it came, I was disappointed seeing our celebrities even dressing up to go and support it and the way they were pushing it. But they will not yeah. even push a movie that they are in, where they are acting, they will not push it. Yes. Why do we love to consume and to promote things that are not ours, mm -hmm. more than ours? Secondly, the audiences yes. are the same. Our audiences do not support South African stuff. Why? At all. And then they will say people don't watch uh, locals and cinemas. I remember staking you know, when I had a meeting with them, they're like, I, uh, black people don't watch a, a Masine locals. They, go, they don't go to the cinemas a lot. And I said, no. They do, because if you look at Lion King, it made billions in South Africa. If Black Panther made billions in South Africa, not anywhere else. So we do go watch Ilokuza Nama movie. We just don't watch our own. That's the thing. People are waiting for it, Black Panther too. They are waiting for it. And then the next thing, the nice excuse is we don't market our movies. Do you? Let's also do the homework to put... We, we, for example, Tina, we were all over social media. You understand? We were marketing and marketing, and then people say, Ah, Tandega, you guys don't market your stuff. That is not true. You were choosing not to watch it, you were choosing to ignore the Twitter post, the, face, so, uh, the Facebook post. You know what I mean? And then also, it costs a lot of money to put an ad on TV. We need to understand that. We just spoke about the budget with Mangan. So, how much is the marketing budget from that? You know what I mean? So I go to people who are not aware of some locals and of our movie, Nanani. People just choose to, not to go. That is our biggest problem in South Africa. We don't. Angfunuwenza utenji we. Athege e cinema. Because Angfunu contributes to success. Ka think ka tenji we. Ah, ah, no. But I will contribute to Black Panther that has millions to shoot that movie. Their actors are millionaires, yeah. but I will not contribute to Tenji, who had maybe four million to shoot that film. We we, we think like that. Uh, I've got a comment uh, from Usia Bonga, Prince Ndwandwe. Mm -hmm. Mangugum Sebenzi was Sem Zanzi, Isinga Lao Li Pansi, Galendela, Abangela, Amazon, Kong, Elo, Kokulele, Ezandin is Omundu, on my food. Can I just uh, take a few minutes to answer this one? Uh, I don't believe in Isinga Li, li Pans. We mm -hmm. look at countries like Nigeria, how we use co to consume those African magic uh, movies. Quality was bad. Sometimes you would even reduce the volume or put it on mute and the volume will still be on high. But because the story spoke to us, you would watch it for four hours. When Nollywood started, the quality was yeah. bad but because they supported each other. And then mm -hmm. they also had a, a, the audience say, well, Nigerians will support Nigerians. Even Nigerians mm -hmm. in the diaspora, Nigerians who do not live in Nigeria will support Nigerian stuff. That's how mm -hmm. they grew. When you look at Nigerian mov movies now, because the producers are now able to make money, some of them are now even on Guinness Book of Records for grossing the most amount of money for their movies. So, like I was talking to a Y comedian Ayo Makun, uh, who's also a producer, and he is a book Guinness Book of Records guy mm. for highest grossing movie, and he was number three in the world, number one in Africa. Highest crossing, which means we too can do it in, in South Africa if we support each other, if we have um, uh, the audience as well needs to participate in this support. Yeah. Tande. They choose they choose who to support, eh? <laughs> so it, 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 it's it's a no, it's true, guys. People choose who to support. Yeah. I'll always go back to uncovered. And uh, by the way, the, the, there's our poster. 
to practice uh, social distancing on Jabul. Jabul, oh, if if any in the corona, because I'm not even naming now. So yes, carry on. <laughs> so so yeah, I'll always go back to uncovered. You know when I talk about that. So when I tell you with the uncovered, we we were on Ukos FM, the biggest radio station ever. Mm -hmm. So we did interviews as early as the Deppin Film Festival, mm -hmm. and which was, which was in June. So you can imagine June going to July, and we we're gonna release in August. Mm -hmm. So we did Ukos FM, and after Ukos FM, we did. Your Metro FM, we had competitions on Ikagasi, and we were not on Ukos once. I also did an interview as well on Ukos. Prime shows, prime time shows. Uh, Fezile was on the afternoon drive, we were on Metro, I was on Metro for an hour. One hour on Metro. And they even played the clips of the trailer, mm -hmm. spoke about it. And she was also on after what is that show on, on SAPC three? Uh, Afternoon Express. Yeah, she was on SAPC three on Afternoon Express. We were also, in fact, almost all the morning shows on TV. It was everywhere. I remember I did a round also with Star, doing yeah. radio and radio shows. All, all the morning shows on on on, on TV. Um, we were on ETV. We were, even ENCA, I remember. I went to ENC with Robert uh, Robert Hobbs. So then when someone doesn't watch and say it was not marketed, you wonder. It, I think there's a culture of people not wanting to see our moves. They decide. Mm. And sometimes they make judge, judgment even before they see the product. Yeah. They don't want to give it a chance. I remember I was in Maponia with Utande. Mm. And we were trying to get people to see the movie. And someone said, ah, I have been a Zang Zobuga and uncovered. But in Gibbo Neil, alternative, when I interviewed the other day, Nalengane Eskanda, <laughs> he had seen the interview. But he chose He came to the cinema, yeah. but he wanted to see Angel is Falling. Mm. And the only reason he could watch it now is because I was saying, please, my brother. So, which means now that we're expected to do more than what the, the overseas people can do. Angel has fallen, was not marketed that well in South Africa. Whoever says it was, like fuck them, like Uncovered was marketed more than that film. But about who went to the cinema wanted to see Angel has fallen mm -hmm. because it's an overseas movie. I don't watch local. They do That's say that. Yeah, but mm -hmm. they don't watch local. And also with me, they were young guys, I don't cast Umuntu Ngoba Ngita Newi celebrate. I I it. Yes. I cast talent. I cast them on as good they can act. So obviously, abanya bantu bana le ondo gute ne. Ooh, sfunu bano sban ban. If enge kola o balaba, you know what I mean. So people will look at a pose and go o bala. Oh, ngati lento mbazan, you know what I mean. So abanya bantu they just wanna watch abadaba masters and then the sense I laugh at them, the sense I jump. But for someone to be a star, they must first start somewhere. And when they look, when they watching people from America, they don't question. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, you wonder, like, I, I, you know, I mean, I ask myself a lot of questions. Many of the we watch everything. Like, we, we watch theater at least twice a month. You know, I mean, we, we are in theater, we are in theater, we are in you know, we are in theater, 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 we watch. Even, even with movies, that's what we do. You know, and, and now you wonder when people don't watch your work. And about one thing that we know for a fact, what it didn't watch uncovered. It becomes strange when now they say, you're on Netflix, how did you do it? I have a movie. I want to take it to Netflix. so I'm 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 telling you, Tay, you know what I mean? And even the reviews now no both you ask, even the reviews uncovered but were one of the best reviews, man. I read another review, I'll remember the guy. You know, 
he was like, this movie is not even trying to be like any other film movie. You know, it's unique, it's an honest story, it's beautiful, I like it. Even though he wrote what he didn't like about it. But you know, when someone says, these guys have worked, you know what I mean? The story is another level, you know. And it was not just that one review, like, it was just a lot of reviews. It had a lot of good reviews. I remember I visited an American friend in America when the movie, because it's now on Netflix. Please do go uh, on Netflix and watch Uncovered. Uh, and they were watching and they were excited to show me this movie from South Africa that I might enjoy. And they showed me Uncovered. Wow. And it was just so exciting. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, so I don't know. The problem is bigger. Even now, we're talking to it should be our sales agent. They were saying to us, look, your movie was watched by a lot of people outside South Africa. Yes. But that's the sad thing. What you don't believe, what he, the reason uh, we were traveling so much was that it is, it's watched more and appreciated more per se. You know, we were supposed to even go to Holland this year. We were going to go, you know what I mean? It, 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 it's Switzerland and I think what else? Um, I don't know if Amsterdam as well. So, Yango no buseka abashe as inkinga yethu abantu abamiyama ukuthi asithanda ukusapotha each other, which is bad. Uncovered was one of the best movies South Africa has produced, and that is so true. That is so true. It it was. Guys, we must support our own stuff. We need to. We need to because yeah. things uncovered. Yeah. Same thing with it in French. Yes. You know, uh, it, it was the same thing as well. I remember in Okuzan and back then in Rom Come, South Africa, and again, view. So obviously, people were just like, ah, ah, ah. But now you look at how people appreciate our Rom Come. You look how yeah. South Africa has produced rom coms, you know what I mean? So we are always negative. There are a lot of people who are negative not between friends, but we but we run to watch all my best men. We run to watch you don't get in the local that I'm not rom coming apart. But when we do our own, people are like, ah no, ganja, ganja. You know what I mean? If you look at it between friends, it was rich people going to a mm. lot. Rich so it was like Manga. It's like no people live like this, you know. So we always try to find the negative when it's our work. Uh, uh, what do we, South Africans, please comment? What do we do? Let me know if you did watch Uncovered. Let me know if you did watch If It's yeah. Different. And let me know what solution is what Dingayo to be able to watch because these movies did very well overseas. Look we at my friend. Yeah, we opened New York Festival. It's yeah. open Chelsea Festival in, in, in you like why am I appreciated? I think that, that it rings true to the saying you say Africans, you cannot be a prophet in your own town. But we have to change that. We have to support each other. Mm. And we have to make sure to Imalia Sekai. Because when you're watching a South African movie, you're contributing to the GDP. You yeah. are contributing to the economy as Sekai. When you're watching yeah. it, it's just like, yeah, it's mm. yeah, good. Look, you were invited all over the world. Mm. But, eh, 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 and yeah. guys, can I just also add that Utandega was the production manager and casting director. Uzugo was the director for... Yes, Mr. Kambules. We need and a... Now, Judge Kambule. Yeah, I'm looking at the work on best shows. I remember watching Judge Kambule. Like, I couldn't believe what in Gishlega shoot, what guys. Like, while we're shooting, I'd be laughing to a point where I'm like, I can't. No, it's hard to get Uzuga to laugh. <laughs> like, Uzuga, the way Uzuga, Uzuga, really comedy. Yeah, eh, you really have to work hard. But with the judge, he was he couldn't. He, he couldn't. I remember the time where he couldn't even ca call cards. <laughs> yeah, we had some best times. And guys, we do need your support. We do need your support. Please do support South African productions. And also, please do support us on social media. 
because even uh, companies from overseas, when they look at us, they're thinking, oh, this person is even small at home. What am I going to do with them? They, yeah. The numbers on social media count. Do subscribe to our channels. Do follow the people who are doing the great work in mm -hmm. entertaining you. And numbers, 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 numbers. Uh, I think we need to have these conversations every day for the South African audience to know the impact they have when they invest in local movies. It's more than just for the hype. It's the economic growth of the country for pride, educational purposes, cultural perseverance, uh, uh, self-awareness, etc. Please don't know what impact they have when they shun the local productions and choose to invest in the arts of other countries. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you, thank you so much. And this allows us to continue telling our stories. I mean, look at the, the shows that I hit right now. It's Spanish shows on Netflix, your money heist, your lockdown, they are doing it in their own language. And mm. money heist, watch all over everyone is talking about it so whenever i watch money house i'm so proud to look at these guys they didn't compromise on their culture their language their music mm. you know what i mean they got all the supports from home and now it's all over but can we be proud as well and tell our own stories in our own languages and let pe our people be proud and supported so that it can it can go all over the world can we do that we need to unite and we cannot do it alone. It's not just about the people behind the scenes. And also it encourages you to keep on producing and to keep on telling those stories because we also need to reclaim our culture. Let us not yeah. give our richest stories to people from abroad because they have the money. The more mm -hmm. you support South African producers, the more you can have it or our history being told. The Mandela stories were told by companies from overseas. Uh, the sugar by over, uh, from overseas. What are we gonna hold on to? Our stories are like our gold. Why do we keep giving away our greatest resources? So we need support. We need support. Usi abonga prince ndoande. Uti mangit izinga li pants. Gisho ugu vuto akom ondo wamundo kusuga ebunga ne ni kuya ebu dalen. I do agree. Isi bonelo uma ulwa zilwe tu lulu fishan tina balalel ogani ababugel. Uba ne trenso enkulu. Eh, gitela nibuye ema potru. That is so true, guys. It's all in the mind. As a fool, it's not just the film, mm. it's also fashion, everything. Let us see standards in a car. Even when we grow up, we just, inga nenga tando a gogo na sem kato na itando mundo. The best comedy in South Africa, period. Oh, I think it was about uh, Jad mm. and uh, Meet the Kambules. Thank you. Which number do I call? Mm -hmm. yeah. I will give you a link to us directly 10 minutes before we finish. I'm behind you all the way. Sis with Sagiti. Hi, oh, Sis Pandega. Oh, oh. He uncovered a corner, guys. Go Netflix. Please do watch it. Please, please, please. Yes, we can. Sunday, can tell you the message. Yes, we can. I send my kids to go watch Uncovered alone because I'm trying to support our own. No good, but our thing serious. Thank you, Bushem. Thank you. It starts It starts with us. It really does. You know what I mean? So Especially if you see Lala Ingane Z to, to watch theatre, local theatre shows and movies, yes, you know? Especially so when it's Kalangatilendo. So thank you, thank you to those who support all the time. We need your comments, guys. Have mm. you, do you support South African so we staff? Thank you. thank you. Or do you support staff from overseas? I'm sorry if I keep looking down. I'm just mm. looking for the link to Uncovered because I want to edit so that you guys can go and watch Uncovered. If I don't get it, okay. I want my link mm. for Netflix Uncovered. Okay. I will, I, I will edit, I will edit on. 
Mm. As a couple, what challenges do you have working together in this industry? No, There's I'm something sorry. wrong now. I don't know if it's your None, internet. Because oh, was it that? I'm not know me internet in, but I'm Can not you hear me as I saw yes. you. are not as clear. I don't know. Tina said, Bonagash. Okay. Yeah. What challenge? Right. Oh. We don't have any none because I'm not trying to do his work. He's not trying to do my work. I trust his skills. He trusts mine. So he's a pro he's a director producer. Sometimes he's a, he, I'm an actress and he directs me. So we we understand our roles and we understand what we need to achieve at the end. You know what I mean? So we knew what we wanted to happen with the uncovered. I trusted his view. And I was in the office making sure <laughs> Oh, nice picture there. Thank you. So yes, there's also a, a, a mutual effect when it comes to Mina Nozu more than anything. Yeah, so guys, I think it is yes. Very so yeah, no, because <laughs> when we work alone, it's different than when you work together. Because when you mm. work together as a couple, then it's two salaries coming to one household. We must encourage couples to look for opportunities mm. where they can help each other, where they can assist each other in building their empires. Because a lot of people seem to think that in this industry, oh, you can't work yeah. with your husband, oh, you can't be married and doing this. What do you say to those people who are saying, I cannot marry someone who is in this industry? Uh, I asked, uh, okay, I've heard this a lot of times. About but I can't marry someone who's in this industry. Different thing, man, like, Abantu are cut from the same cloth. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter who to move to therapy or wherever. Like, we've got the same characteristics, you know what I mean? There are differences, obviously. But I'm just saying, Abantu in general, by far, and finally, Mundo Tim Tamping is good. You know, the most, the basic stereotype is that horses are gold diggers. Women love money. Yeah, it's it, does, so it doesn't matter who to go at. Like, women just love money. So, you have one thing so yeah, so it, you, you know what I mean, like. I I I. So, so I, I it was on phone, go on go on normal. Me na I yo, I'm lucky. I got the best person, eh? Look at my smile. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with your internet. So you, you were so. <laughs> so guys, I have added a link. Yeah, yeah, uncovered. Please. Uh, do go and watch because even Netflix will stop giving us deals when they see which the South African stuff is not being watched. When they see that South African mm -hmm. movies are not being watched, they will stop looking for South African movies. They will stop looking for South African stuff. So mm -hmm. it's very important that you keep uh, mm -hmm. doing it. And what would you advise? Uh, what advice would you give to mm -hmm. someone who's in drama school now? What should they prepare for? Or someone who's waiting to get into the industry? Look, uh, don't, don't regret going to drama school. There is a skill uh, that you get from going to a drama school. So don't, don't give up. It's a very hard industry. It's a tough industry. But uh, I always say, don't, don't give up. There's a reason you chose it. So Uma used to say whenever it was hard and I just want to give up, she'll say, dig your bucket where you are, my child. So she'll just take you visit by Belinati Ika, Laukon. And I appreciate Uguti. She's always been there for me. So I wish Monke Lawandu are studying to just have the support of family because you're going to need it, you know, because it's a tough industry. But hang hang on, hang on. Wonko Mundu will eventually get their turn. It's going to come right. Just be focused and just don't give up. Remember why you started in the beginning. And also, can I just add to that? We live in a social media age. Don't wait for someone to employ you. 
you are just like someone who's saying i have a degree in business management i'm not getting a job whose yeah. business do you want to manage start a tech shop we live everyone has a smartphone everyone who's watching right now has a smartphone take it shoot something showcase your talent someone will notice you someone will like what you do and you you, you can get your break so many people are getting their big breaks from social yeah. media i started on social media i started doing just a mm. and because what i was doing did resonate with people i i yeah. ended up having my deals to do bigger things and I'm, I'm still waiting for bigger things but please guys do 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 support south african work uh, please answer this one uti why kunzi ma ukufaka drama series or show on tv awuphendulwa mawungaziwe that is so true it is hard baba it is really we still knocking on doors so not we want to do stuff for mzanti we want to do stuff for you know what i mean for your etv it is hard it is hard they've only just opened the film for us so there is also leon Dogutu, who do you know you know so people and we channel don't know about, so they probably just going okay not now but it is hard but it doesn't mean we're going to stop knocking we are still knocking, you know. So, like I said before, give up, keep knocking, and we're not stopping just because they're not answering with television. We're gonna still carry on shooting movies. Somebody's gonna watch our movie and go, Let me trust this couple to give me a drama, let me trust this couple to give me a telenovela. And also, Snow Zugo, we are not sitting down, we're right novellas we're writing dramas we are forever ready so that when somebody says what do you have we can say here and we if they say this, I'm looking for this. This. I'm so looking don't for stop this. don't stop creating don't stop knocking yes so we we always have something so something down you never know so that when they say hey what do you have we can say here you know uh uh, Sistenji, we open the eye, open the cover, um, try and get all the good news. We have a lot of good news. The best thing you will come. Yay! I'm loy. Thank you so much, Sister Bonga. Yay! This one is the one we just addressed. This is the one we just addressed. I'm just trying to see if we have any questions, guys. I hope if you do have questions, please do send them so that we can try and address your questions you will not have these people ever again audiences people who are not in the industry but what are your complaints about south african productions what is it that makes you not want to spend on south african productions what is wrong? Where can Ozu or no producers and directors improve? Trust us, trust the Gutinati. We don't want to watch shows that are crap. There are shows, you know, I watch a lot of shows to get inspiration. I look at shows and I'm like, the show guys this show is crap but because if we see that we we concentrate we watch you know what i mean so we we are in this industry not to create crap we are in this industry to give you guys good content you know so we're gonna fight with this guy to give us a better budget we need them a supporter for them to trust and give us a better budget they're not gonna give us more money if you guys don't support they're gonna keep on saying yes your two million to shoot this movie because ah very people are not you know uh, i'll get what does it take to be a great actor about <laughs> kwan miller mm. What does it take to be a great actor? What does it take to be a great mm. actor? You know, 
when I <laughs> if you can economically to go to a drama school i'll always say go to drama school because you you get the skill of of yes it doesn't just teach you to act for television you get trained to act on stage and i always say that's my first love i love theater you know what i mean i love theater so much because if you're a theater actor and then you become a television actor there is something powerful and something you have that you take along with you to, to see. but if there's no go there invest watching films invest in watching theater shows invest in rehearsing and just working on your craft you know I, whenever i'm casting for a, a show i'm always excited when i see a new face that is hungry that is that is willing to learn that is willing to just push so i don't know if i've answered it but yes that's what it takes to be, become a great actor I'm a filmmaker. I have movies as Lala Gumzansi Magic. But now, Segunzi, my Ukfagama movies. Are you going any channel at Satama local movies? Gumzi! Gumzi, Mababa, you have to knock on other channels. You have to, you know, your ETVs and USAPCs, they always open, they give you a date when they accept my submission. So look, I'll go to, constantly go to their web page. You know what I mean? Check when they open, submit, submit. That's all you can do. Submit and just pray they will call you to just pitch your idea. But again, don't give up. Don't give up. Usne Temba Duani Uti, can we create a platform where only South African content is showing, not where people get to choose between Eza Semzans and Eza Peshe? You know, when it comes to cinemas, people like your staking acre is a new metro, it's business. So they will never have it's only south african movies because number one they know they don't make money so they'll always align it with american shows because they know we're gonna make money here and yeah, make money here and then oh uh, south africa so it's an thing because we are known not to support each other so they will never just open up just for south africans because they're gonna lose out and they won't be able to manage the cinemas that's the sad part which is also business and they know what with american shows for example if i had to do a movie right now which is you know what i mean i have to have one celebrity from america and when i have that fortune uncovered i've uncovered much appreciated in the middle Yeah. Yeah, your mic is muted today. You are muted, Tenjiwe. You are muted uh, there. Uno malunge lo pengo. Better watched, uncovered, and in, I, I really loved it. The story was current and real. See, That's what uncovered. If you have not seen it, please go to Netflix and see it. Let me post the link again. If you press that link, it will take you. If you have Netflix. Here's a post that looks like this. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, now that's the computer. Amen. Uh, so do go and see Uncovered. Here is what it looks like. Yes. Do go and see it, please. And here is what Zugo looks like when he's at work. <laughs> So, 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 why you call, why you are called day. <laughs> I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine, this is what we look like when we are together with Tande. So, ah, yeah. See hot, see hot. So, there was a, there was a very important question that I needed you to answer. Let's talk, guys. You can do without the government. Yes, we can do without the government with the support of the South African public. Nigeria, 
in Ghana, they did it without the government, but they needed a support from their people. If people go out and watch, um, it, it, it isn't as it. We don't need to, to wait for the government. And sometimes they make you wait for so long to get the help. That's why you find that a, a Nigerian producer has done 80 movies in two years. And a South African movie uh, producer has done one movie in eight years. And yeah. tomorrow I will be talking with producers from around Africa, from different countries in Africa. I've got someone from Zambia, Nigeria, uh, Kenya, Malawi, and Uganda. So we'll be sharing ideas on how, what can we learn from them? Because they are more independent. They are not waiting for the government and their country, their audiences support them. Yeah. Wow. I can't, I can't wait, Tendu, to, to, to watch those. Those would really, uh, they will help us a lot. Just to hear, you know what I mean? It would be nice to collaborate as well with them. Yes, we will collaborate. And I'm, I'm having another one towards the end of the week. I will invite you to that one to be part of the panel. Uh, I'll be doing female producers from around Africa. Thank you. That's great. That's lovely. Nangu teammates is chale, please. Bafnu was in India, but it's a day. Giza Yabu and Sanjib Sugu, Benginga Yaz, Siabonga Tenjo. Thank you so much. You will definitely, definitely enjoy. You come back and thank me later. Bosses, Ababi, Limani, Kata, Kulumala, Izip, Izinatel, or Enizo Zitata, Nenizo. Buisa is in Pendulog, it's a good ten Usugu, Lona Mutha, Lutanele is each That will depend on the response that people can start supporting. And also, mm -hmm. we need platforms where we can communicate. Uguti Gushotan, Gwenzegan, why are we not loving ourselves? Why are we not supportive of each other as South Africans? Because those are the issues that we need to address. Yeah. So talk to us, guys. I mean, we are on social media. We are on Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook. Let us know. Let us know what we can do better. You know, I take constructive criticism very well, you know. So if you've watched my movie, let me know what I turned there and flop it and flop it so that I can do better next time. I'm constantly going to shoot films. I'm constantly going to be doing more work. So it will be great to hear from you guys um, just to also know what is preventing you guys from supporting us. What is stopping you from just when you go to the cinema and you see a South African movie and you say, I'm going to invest my 150 rand to these people? What is stopping you? Why do you trust the American people so much? Why, what makes you go, there's Angela is fallen. Hmm, it's American, I'll pay that instead of this. So I'd mm. love to know, I would love to know. Uh, why did I read Unanda? Yes, I need to get glasses. Yeah, Bonga, please know that you will lay lockdown. Nikube and Ale platform, you go to Spooz and Bozo. Thank you so much. And I think it is a good platform. You go to Squaz, you go to CNH. Mina, Mango, no change you, which is Mina, the lawyer. But yet, to Marte, yes. I'm from Zim, guys. I watch your movie. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I need everyone in Zim to watch. Go and knock Thank in every you. house. I know it's locked down, but just go and knock. It's fine. You'll deal with the police later. <laughs> Thank you so much. Guys, Ooh. those who don't know, Tenjiwe is in the movie Uncovered. She's not in and the post. Yeah. They don't know. Tenjiwe is in the movie, guys. Tenjiwe is in the movie. <laughs> I watched with people, my American friends, I watched with them, and they didn't yeah. even think it was me. Because ah. of the change, they didn't say it was me. <laughs> but it, it, it is such a, a, a beautiful, it's a beautiful story. It's a story that needs to be told and it's done so well. The quality is great. The acting is wonderful. And Tandela also doesn't just produce, she acts in the movie as well. How hard was that to have to do two things? Well, you did more than two things, but to... <laughs> 
to be uh, one of the main members and also to be producing? Uh, well, you know, I mean, when you have a great team behind the scenes, it becomes better. You know, so I did I did give myself a small role because I studied to become an actress. You know, I studied drama. So the the, the love of acting will always be there first. So hmm. I looked at the script and I said, OK, let me play a small part that doesn't last long so that at least I'm present to become a producer full time. But for me to do that, it means I have to have a, a, the best support behind the scenes. And I had that. So um, someone who's at home watching now and thinking, I love the movie industry, I love the film industry, but I don't want to act, I don't want to be on screen. I cannot act to save my life, but I want to do something. What would you advise them? What other jobs are, are, are there when a film is being shot, when you're doing a film, when you're producing? What other jobs, what other roles do you employ for? There are so many jobs. There are so many jobs. Like I said, what I went to school with people about the time fashion naturally. So for me, mm -hmm. that person who will do well, we will draw. You know what I mean? They'll do well as a stylist. They, they are people who just love story and understand story, understand what it, if it moves from here to here, this is what needs to happen. That person would be a good continuity person, you know? So for me, I became a producer late because I've been in the industry for more than 10 years. I'd seen, oh, okay, so this is what happens when you shoot. This is what happened. This is what's needed in a production. This is what happens in the end product, you know? So because I've always been there, I know I'm, I'm very good at organizing, me, not generally. I can, uh, I've, it started off small, me just love loving to organize parties and just, uh, people, you know, so I knew what I'd be good in something where I organize and just have everyone do what is needed. So that's why producing came naturally to me. So there's a lot of work behind the scenes that you can do. Just, you know, just you send an email to a production company and say, can I just come in and, 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 and just view or what, and, and be on set the whole day? We allow that to happen. Production companies allow that to happen, where you just sit. And from there, you can see, you can ask, what is that person doing? What is that person doing? Oh, OK, maybe I'll be good in this. So try and, uh, and email production companies and ask to just to, you know, to show the people, to just look at people with Benzan. And that's where you can just see what would work for you. And when we say wardrobe, it's not just the people like Utandega says, who are stylists, there's someone who has to wash the clothes that the actors are wearing. Yes. They need to be washed and ironed. There's someone who has to clean the place. Where, there are people who only clean for film yeah. and production companies. There are people who, who, who do catering, but they only cater for production companies. Yes. There are people who do accounting, but they only do accounting for production companies. They so it's not it's not just the face you see on TV. That's why when you finish watching a movie or a TV series, and it's more than the acting. Yes, there are Those so are many. People. People. Mm. Which is There's why. so many people as Batatema Saloon. And mm. then they are stylists now, you know what I mean? Mm. Because industry, so you can be stylists, they can't, you know? And the, 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 another thing I really want us to, Uzu Gwa Gabu Yepen. Another thing I, I really want us to address, Sandek, yes. is I know people are sitting at home thinking, they're talking about 5 million and saying, can you explain? where the money goes, what has to be paid for. Because people are thinking five million money money and God, well, in movie had 20 people. Why did they need five million? You you know, I mean you take it for granted in day or the catering. Catering charges 150 rand per person a day. Most shooters set in there's crew, there's actors, there's about 60 people every day. So 160 every day for six days a week so you look at that there is transport transporting actors there's your petrol there is oh my goodness there's equipment a camera can charge me fifty thousand a week to rent 
I'm not owning it. There's cameras, there's lighting, there is makeup that they need to buy. They am a weave. I am is when you there's a when a character is rich, fire they weave it right. So there's all those things that abandabanga inagi that cost so much. So when That's we close. say million money, then count less in the sangi bali lugutti. How much are they? And then gube na ma extra salary. There's crew salaries. There is there's location. If so she said yeah, if you don't know what you are charging me an amount per day. So how much is that? There's a generator that is involved. So there's a lot that happens behind the scenes that people are not aware of, and that costs millions. So that is why we need people to watch so that people can raise. Because now when we dealing with Abandu, like the government or NFVF or KZN Commission, they'll always give you the same amount every year because they know they're not going to get it back. Because people are not going to watch. People need to understand what, when these government people give us money to shoot, they want it back. Mm. They want it back. So if we don't make money in my cinema to give it to then surely they're not going to give us more. So if they're constantly giving you $2 million, they will constantly give you $2 million because they know you never pay it back. People don't watch and support. So you never make money in my cinema. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's difficult. So, guys, the solution is do support, do support is in those are same zans. Mm. And in your acting career, what stuff have you been on? Because there's someone at home who's thinking, Oh my goodness, say hello and bye. <laughs> this is the last born. Goodbye, Lala. <laughs> Papa, I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> Bye -bye. so i have been uh it's dramas it's your bay of plenties remember back then no cheese so recently i think i've been on harvest i've been on what have i been it's a lot of mzanti biscops as well i've been on asia not quite a lot <laughs> but it's just dramas more than half this people was very recent, and actually, you had a fan from And currently, I'm gonna be on a, a comedy show, a big much I love. Yes, see, yes, yes. So, yeah, it's got I forget, I forget because if I'm not acting, I'm running to work behind the scenes. <laughs> MMR TV, Funugas, good day is a mug that I usually use. I'm drinking water because I don't want you guys to think I'm hiding something in the mug. I want you to see. Yeah. And when I say I'm drinking water, I'm really drinking water. Because there was a debate last <laughs> night that mm -mm, something in the mug is hiding. And you know, in London, you know, even Ujualanja, you can go and buy alcohol. You can go so and buy a sip. <laughs> So okay, let's give people the last advice before we knew, lose we, we move to the last segment. Okay. Can you give um, uh, uh, aspiring producers what advice can you give them? Someone who's got uh, 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 the talent, they want to start, and they don't have contacts. What can a person do? Because nobody is born with contacts. That's what people must know. Mm. Everybody has to start somewhere you have to start somewhere like i said before you have to go online and check email addresses of these people email it to them email production companies you know so if you're an actress that is that wants to be a producer one day while you're on sets be friendly ask everyone in the office be friendly to people you know you don't undermine a crew member don't undermine that wardrobe person because when they find omunyum sebes they might just be asking her, well, do you know somebody? And they will say, oh, I've worked with Tandega. She was great. So just uh, equip yourself, uh, read about it, find out who are needed or uh, a setting in a production company. So, and also create, create, create stories, you know, create dramas, telenovelas. If you're a writer, keep writing, don't stop and just keep on pushing and emailing it to the relevant people. Eventually, somebody's bound to open the door. Mm. If they want to okay. be a director, I'm going to <laughs> OK, you guys are a couple, and we want to learn a bit more about you. 
I need you to be very, very honest. Okay. If you fight, so best in a circle in a lab. <laughs> okay. Who's more romantic? He is. I'm very shocked, but he is. <laughs> I am. Who is funnier? Who's funnier? Mm. My love, what do you say? He says he's got dry humor, but yeah, true, he's got dry humor. The best. <laughs> Who makes me laugh? Who's the one makes me laugh? I always laugh when I'm with him. Okay, you just have to you. listen to me. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's, he's very observant. You have to be aware, would he? Yes. Who's, Who's better? better at him? Him? Definitely him. Yo, I am very bad. <laughs> I am very bad. Who fights the most? Me. You know, it's because I drink a lot of green tea. <laughs> I'm trying to drink it. Who wakes up first? Answer that, Zugo. Yes, him. Yo, I can't so, so morning, like, Go six, six, six seven, 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 seven. up. Oh. But that's the one thing that people don't understand as well, that in this uh, industry, the hours are crazy. Most productions are crazy. crazy. Mm. AM, and it's a 12-hour day. Yes. And so many of I'm not working, I, I sleep. I enjoy my sleep because I know it's when it's shooting time, it's 4 p. It's 4 a.m. Wake up. So what we guys do on TV, it would take a minute. It takes at least 12 hours to make. Mm. Who snores louder? Yes. And it's not even uh, disputing it. I gave him that word. <laughs> Who's the best cook? Answer this one as I smile. Okay, so Jay, when it comes to cooking, I don't cook a lot. When I cook, everyone wants me to cook again. So I don't know how to ask her. When it's I not cook. who cooks the most, it's who cooks the best food. Yes. Ask her. It's not when about who cooks every day, Tandela. It's who cooks okay. the best food. But it's still the best. Ask her. Who cooks you are licking food. Whatever I cook, they want me to cook again. So who cooks better? I have been honest. Me na nawe guba opera man. Ah, so we are not sitting on the couch. <laughs> you see, he's got another phone call. Hey, so go boy, 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 baby, my man. <laughs> Who's the better driver? Me. You oh, know, yes, no, no, no. sorry, <laughs> sorry, and it is back at work. Hey, so okay, I try, you know, I me a uh, and he quipy mod, who's gonna we quip. So, hey, I'm in jail, that has been a scratch for five years. We did who's more romantic, didn't we? Send the legs. Ah, oh, gosh, so who made the first move Let's just go to the com comments before Sivale. Okay. Uh, You have a support now. I donate with 1,000 followers. Believe me. Nina began a platform to make it work. It's been my dream alone. But today, things just... 
Bangango. See about Ganga Kulu, see about Ganga Kulu. Yeah, well, something with thousand. We really appreciate you. We need to support each other, guys. Kulu. Uningi for next is Sunday, Ganga Sebens and I, but as an extra, Gafunde Ugning, because today I'm a producer. I have more movies today. Thank you, sis Tandega, for your advice. Thank you so much. That's exactly what Tandega was saying. About never look down upon anyone that you come across that yeah. you work with. from an extra to a producer. Because you Imagine. do not know who's going to produce the next production show. Mm. Au ukupi o ikupi magi yako ai magi yamko siam au nema pindi puse ni magi Thank you so much guys yinti magi yami ile yetin and then ino pita luma pali so when I'm drinking tea it keeps it warm for the whole hour Thank you so much guys Thank you Tenji wesha news Sandra is funniest. Yeah, bonga, yeah, bonga. I just wish the husband was here to see, to see this. In me, I'm thinking, say, oh my, eh. Rata, rata. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate your world of knowledge and sharing everything uh, with us. Ella Ushie abandon a message about what we are going through. What can we do to make it better? Because right now we are having problems, especially with stage four. We are seeing people with Lama Maski. <laughs> we are seeing people with such masks. <laughs> we are seeing people going out by on Georgia easy. Mm. <laughs> They still, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mask. I bet they wash them and resell them for people. So, what advice do you have for for us? Yes. So, firstly, Tenji, we so busy at this day. Sia bonga kakulu for hosting us. Thank you so much. We love you so much. It's no me and Wami. Thank you guys for watching. So, I know we are in um terrible time right now a lot of us are sad as dileganja now but i do believe sizo hlula no miganja we are gonna overcome so let's do what is needed let's wash our hands let's be careful let's just follow what needs to be done and we will come out stronger on the other side zuga we love you too we love you too. Oh, I unga 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 face. We sing sing today. You so yeah, langa call. No, man, no, no, no. <laughs> no, we love you. I appreciate. I appreciate you, my sister. I think we appreciate you. Um, we have more reasons. More reasons to. One of them is your willingness to to collaborate, man. You know, to mm. share what you have as well. Um. About you don't know, we've done a lot of work with you. We've done a lot of amazing stuff with you. We'll still do a lot of amazing stuff with you. And how you've been is what I wish South African creatives would be. You know what I mean? Where we're not scared of each other. We acknowledge mm. each other's strength and we can just put those strengths together and come up with amazing work and, and, and just you know, keep working, keep, keep doing amazing stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I think it, it, it's been great. And for those who do not know, Uzuko, do you still direct I, 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 Imbeu? Uh, he left now. Yeah, there's a new show, man. I can't say much for now, but there's a new show. Odd, odd show. Deben. You know, so yeah. That I'm, Is it in Devon or in Johannesburg? Johannesburg. Oh, please audition me. If you uh, can find me a private jet to bring me home. Yeah. <laughs> no, we started shooting in Feb. Nice. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need more subscriptions so that we can have these things being seen by more people. Let's get to a hundred thousand. We are currently at eighty-eight thousand. We need to get to a hundred thousand before a lockdown Ipele. And we appreciate all your love and all your support. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Danota. Does where do people get uh, follow you on social media? 
Uh, it's Tande Ganotata on Facebook, Zugonotata on Facebook, uh, Instagram, I'm Tans M30, Tans M30, Instagram, still Zugonotata, Twitter, I'm also, it's Zugonotata, it's Tans M30 on Twitter as well. Thank you very much. We appreciate you guys. Keep on doing the great work that you do.